Ammo drum is quite the common mod as many of you may know. Warframe players from across the globe have had access to this mod for a decade by now, and it's no surprise as to why that's the case. Ammo drum is super common and can drop almost anywhere. It is one of the best mods for weapon builds in general. Ammo drum has been a staple on builds ever since its release back in 2012, providing huge damage buffs and amazing crit bonuses with its astronomical ammo bonus. Ammo Drum is the meta and has become the most sought after mod since its release. So today, we're going to take a trip through time and see how Ammo Drum revolutionized Warframe. Ammo Drum first released on October 25th of 2012 and instantly became a hit success, becoming a staple mod with the old modding system, as it drastically boosted the ammo and damage of meta weapons such as the Bratton and Burston. In fact, this mod was actually pretty rare on its initial release, and DE had to actually update the drop rates because Ammo Drum was incredibly rare, having only a 0.01% drop rate on corrupted enemies. Thankfully, after a quick hotfix, players were able to obtain Ammo Drum more efficiently and could start stacking up the mod for future use. Soon enough, a large portion of players got Ammo Drum and the new meta was born. Ammo Drum Unfortunately, things weren't looking too good for Ammo Drum because shortly after, the new Ammo Mutation mods became a thing and now everyone sparked a huge debate amongst the community. Did our legendary Ammo Drum get outclassed? Well, of course not. Ammo Drum still remains as a top tier mod and not only that, the Mutation mods wouldn't give you more ammo, they just converted ammo pickups which was ridiculous. Plus, these new wannabe phonies were rare to get, and as a result, Ammo Drum remained as an excellent meta mod for every rifle in the entire game. Ammo Drum still remained the king of all mods, and when we got more rifles like the Soma and Bolter Prime, Ammo Drum usage went through the roof. It was hard to beat that huge 30% bonus, and this mod became a staple on every build going forward into 2014 and 2015, outclassing even other core mods like Split Chamber and Serration. Now at this point in time, Ammo Drum was starting to age, and it was definitely showing. New hot weapons like the Tsar and Tonker were taking over, hard heavy hitting explosive launchers, and single target weapons were falling behind a little bit. But thankfully our lord and savior Ammo Drum saw this coming and did an unthinkable move. April 1st, 2016, Ammo Drum released its legendary counterpart, the flawed Ammo Drum. This was an incredibly powerful and game-changing mod as up until this point, Ammo Drum never had a counterpart. Most mods like Continuity and Flow had its prime versions, but Ammo Drum never had that as Baro Katir simply had no interest in selling the good Tenno, the superior version of Ammo Drum. So as a result, DE had to take matters into their own hands and release the legendary flawed Ammo Drum on the infested survival alert. Once players finished the grueling task of surviving for 60 minutes, they would be rewarded greatly with the flawed ammo drum. This version of the ammo drum sported insane stats as at rank 0 you had 2.5% more ammo maximum. This was game changing and going forward ammo drum once again dominated the meta effortlessly despite other mods best attempts at dethroning the king of all mods. It just wasn't possible. Ammo drum is king. Now going into 2017 and onwards, we received the new open worlds with the Plains of Eidolon and the year after with Fortuna. These open worlds were stunning graphically and provided Warframe a new lease on life. New content to explore and dive into, new bosses, new lore and story, and most importantly, new weapons and Warframes. And with the power creep getting ever so prominent with each patch and update, Ammo Drum actually remained as an incredible mod going forward outclassing the likes of the Augur and Gladiator set and completely obliterated most Warframes as this single mod boosted guns so high that every frame just became a weapons platform by default due to the sheer dominating force and power Ammo Drum had to offer. But more importantly with fundamental systems and gameplay reworks on the horizon, Ammo Drum had to step up as the competition was getting fierce day by day and thankfully for us, our calls and prayers to the Overlord were answered. Patch 26, Ammo Drum got buffed. Ammo Drum up until this point had offered an insane boost to ammo maximum by 30%, but more importantly, it was a mod that was able to keep itself together over the years, and as time went by, we got more tools and toys to play with in our arsenal. Ammo Drum saw usage everywhere on every build, every setup, and every endgame strategy. Ammo Drum had offered players everything 
But come patch 26, we got the biggest buff we've ever seen in Warframe, and to this day, it has been recorded as the most monumental buff of all time in Warframe. Ammo Drum's max ammo was increased from 30% to an astronomical 90% boost. This was game defining as the buff propelled Ammo Drum into new heights of godly power. Ammo Drum became so dominant that it started to outclass over 50% of the Warframe roster. Frames like Nyx, Frost, and Ember became completely irrelevant due to the sheer force and will of Ammo Drum. This singular mod gave so much power that it destroyed entire Warframes, almost like an Infinity Gauntlet. They turned to dust, and the onslaught continued and dominated every activity, every alert, every new game mode, every new weapon faced the brutal wrath of the mighty ammo drum. It was like a never-ending onslaught, and as a result of the countless deaths and endless symphony of destruction, ammo drum extended into a whole new being, wielding power never seen before. And finally, the new Veilbreaker update. This was the end for our legendary hero as it faced the nerfs head on, but Ammo Drum wasn't going down without a fight, and with its newly acquired 90% ammo boost, it fought hard. At the end, Ammo Drum conquered the entire game, and even Veilbreaker wasn't enough to stop the onslaught of this mighty beast. And in 2023, Ammo Drum sits at the very top, the go-to mod for every single build, primary related or not. This mod is the definition of Warframe, and over the years it's conquered meta by meta and patch by patch. Ammo Drum is truly unstoppable. It is in a league of its own. No one can truly comprehend the raw power and potential of it. Ammo Drum is number one. Anyway- Hey, what the hell? What are you doing here? Oh sh- That was kinda weird. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.